What are the most commonly spoken languages in healthcare? Well, this is a good question and it depends usually on state, but to answer this question better in a, a bigger picture uh, across the nation, we looked at this in twofold with Medicare as well as what we currently see with our clients uh, across the nation. Um, Medicare did a study where they collected data amongst all their beneficiaries by state um, to see what percentage of those beneficiaries were requesting uh, an interpreter or were considered limited English proficient. Also, with that percentage, what was broken down by language? So what percentage was Spanish or Arabic, right? And so we had the top 10, and this is pretty consistent with all 50 states as far as the percentages go, but we're gonna go with just the top 10. Uh, as far as the beneficiaries, uh, we're gonna say what percentage of those beneficiaries per state were LEP or limited English proficient. Number one was California and 22.17%. Um, Hawaii, 18.6%. New York, 16.02%. Texas, 12.96%. New Jersey, 12.13%, Florida, 11.9%, Massachusetts, 10.49%, um, New Mexico, 10.14%, Rhode Island, 9.82%, and Illinois, 8.36%. Now with these top 10 states, um, talking about diversity, anything above 7% is above national average. So. Um, the first two, three, four states are well above average, but as we get closer to the 9, 10, that's, that's pretty close to national average. Um, now, top languages in the top 10 states with the highest prevalence of LEP patients, we're gonna break that down by, we put all of them together, all 10 states, and we saw the percentages based on the numbers from Spanish, Mandarin, Tagalog, and just kinda got the top 10. And in order of prevalence, um, as well as percentage, Spanish by far was number one. 63% of all languages requested or needed or identified as limited English proficient were Spanish speaking. Goes from 63% from Spanish down to 6% Mandarin, which is number two. Tagalog is 4%, Vietnamese 4%, Korean 3%, Russian 3%, Italian 3%, Cantonese 2%, Portuguese 1% and then Persian or Farsi 1%. Now it may seem like okay so Spanish is 63% and everything else is 6% or below. 6% is a, a, a lot. It's a, a very large number. So you're talking into the 500,000 marks right for each percent. So it is still quite the volume but nothing near as much as Spanish. So as could be expected Spanish is the the, the primary requested language. Um, now that's with Medicare and it could be slightly biased as far as we didn't use all 50 states, we used the top 10, right? Um, where Hawaii is very diverse, it is not quite the population as other states. Uh, so there is a little bit of discrepancy there. But when looking at real life scenario with what we currently see with our clients, which are clients across the nation from California to Florida, right? We saw similar, there were five similar languages, but for us, number one was Spanish, number two, Haitian Creole, uh, number three, Mandarin. Number four, Nepali. Number five, Arabic. Number six, Somali. Number seven, Vietnamese. Number eight, Farsi or Persian. Number nine, Portuguese. And number 10, Bengali. Now, our numbers are slightly skewed because for us, we have several clients in California as well as in Florida. Uh, for California, uh, the Mandarin population is much higher, so that's why they're number three on our list. Whereas Haitian Creole is number two for us because we have several clients in Florida, and Florida has a high population of Haitian Creole. Um, for a more accurate picture of the top languages in your state, uh, you can feel free to, to search it. Um, there's a PDF online created by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services titled Understanding Communication and Language Needs of Medicare Beneficiaries, or you can look on our PDF and see the link and, and look for more there. Uh, numbers will be more accurate based on the state where you reside.